Previously on Secret of Mana. You may call upon my recovery and defense magic. And you may use my battle magic. Ah, welcome all to some more Secret of Mana. So today we get to go straight into the Underground Palace, which, as you guys would remember, we needed the, uh, the ice-based abilities to get into it. So, now that we uh, beat up an old lady and got some magic... Oh yeah, that's weird. What would we have done if we hadn't gone to Undyne? There's a lot of things in this game that just sort of happen now that I think about it. But, now that we have the freeze-based abilities, you can uh, select it and then use it on this. This is the only time in the game where you find one of these orbs and you know... That's not even a big pile of magma! I could jump across the- actually, probably shouldn't, that is magma. It would probably light you on fire if you tried getting close to it. But yeah, that's the only time in the game where uh, you find one of those orbs and you actually know what to use on it. Later ones, uh, just sort of, they're colored but you're not entirely sure what works on them, it's kind of annoying. Okay, so say hello to the underground palace filled with these fucking goblins. I hate these things. Oh, actually, I can actually use this now. Your water. Oh, bloody hell. It's the wrong one. There we go. Just die. You should be dead. You're not going to drop me anything. Why didn't you turn? Why aren't you turning? Aww. Whoa, Chest Knight. You blend in a lot more than you used to in the past. You need to die before you use your defender up. Oh. Cool. So that's what happens when you use uh the frost the frost spear. Why are you being Okay. I don't know why you're being so evasive right now. Okay. Now, my biggest issue when it comes to... Did you just run away from me? Did that? That's weird. So, the big thing about the Underground Palace is that... Uh, there were two quirks to it. One, these enemies are stupid powerful. Well, they were. I'm actually going to get into that. Yeah, just not ready. So the enemies oh god, you got speed up. You need you need to die. You need to die, because you are very annoying. See, this this is precisely why I don't like this magic. Because it freezes the enemies, but you can't do any more damage to them. It seems like it would be a great offensive tool, but in reality, it's... it's not. Wow, this is... this magic stayed for a while this time. Ah, damn it. Yeah, that... that stayed for a minute. Wait, I just realized, that... Oh my god, it saved that I was on the, the on the the magic spot. I'm not sure if that was updated or not, because that, that's certainly not how this game performed before. So these enemies in the original game were pretty stupid powerful. So you would typically end up losing a few characters down the way or wasting a bunch of couple wishes, or the Phoenix Downs or however you want to explain it. The revival tool in this game you end up wasting them before getting to the boss, because this place just takes forever. Now, the other quirk is that the boss, you cannot face it if the sprite dies. If he dies and you talk to um, a character before the boss door, you're just, you're not getting in. And there is nothing in the original narrative that explains as to why you can't get in there. However, if you have the sprite, you can get in there just fine, and there's like cool little dialogue between uh, the NPC at the door and the sprite. 
So I'm kind of hoping that that was taken care of. Because that was a bit of an issue with the uh, original game. Oh, wrong character. But it seems like... Whoa, Gem Missile 2. Who did that? How... How do you know Gem Missile 2? I'm actually going to... There we go. So it's actually better if I hit them down and then attack. What are you stuck on, dude? Oh, crap, that's a mama goblin. Crap, I didn't notice. Yeah, the pink-headed goblins spawn the blue ones. Or is it the blue spawn the pink? Either way, one spawns the other, which is why this area was such a problem. Because in the original game, if they wanted to split, it didn't matter if they were getting hit or not. If they started to split, they would split. So, there'd be cases where, wow, you... That was probably the smartest enemy there. I'm not dealing with this many. Especially not two chess knights. Wow, you're still alive? Yeah, if, if these guys actually attacked, you would see exactly why this is a problem, because... Chest knights are very fast with high accuracy and evasion, so... Yeah, you're not gonna get hit now that you use Debate 2 on ya. On the bright side, magic will cut through evasion no matter what. I was gonna say, don't make me a bloody liar. Oh, that's not a door this one is. I don't know why I thought that was a door. That's clearly a, uh, a glass painting or whatever. Come on. You're still alive? I was gonna say, you, you look like your life flashed before your eyes. I thought you were done. This is the altar room. This area wasn't this small before, was it? This area was hey, not this small. On, hold up. You can't just barge in here. Yeah, so if the sprite died you would not be able to get in here at all. The great gnome ain't gonna let pipsqueaks on his tarts. Now scram! What a lot of hot air. Why don't you scram? Yeah, I'll teach you a lesson, little brat. Dude, you're so small. I'm not even sure you actually have arms. You look like just a Rayman character. Ha! Take this! Why, you little... Wow. Uh oh I I'm out of here. I'm sorry. In the SNES version, they actually fought for a second. I'm surprised that we actually got chipped out of that here. Look, there's something back there. A door! <gasps> so, say hello to Fire Gigas? Yeah, Fire Gigas. I'm actually gonna do. Set it to that. I'm not gonna have a lot of magic for this. Yeah, I can't have her do that. So, say hello to Fire Gigas, the first enemy you fight that really just takes a lot of damage from Freeze. There we go. Wow! That's a lot. Oh, that didn't even do that much damage. Come on, Fire Gigas! Or Gygus. But yeah. The thing with this guy is that he does a lot of um, movement based. Uh, I don't want to say attacks, but he just moves a lot. So, most of the time. Okay, no. So, when it comes to attacking him, sometimes you only get one or two hits in, whereas he will just destroy you. Oh, come on! Why are enemies so easy to kill? All I did was cut his kneecaps with a sword. Why did you die? <sighs> well, to be fair, Fire Gigas wasn't really that much of a much of a problem. Can I get the sword orb? Damn, I don't use the axe. Well, that was... Oh, I do use the axe. Well, that was a bit disappointing 
I mean, usually Fire Gigas was a bit of an issue because he uses. Oh. Hello. What a relief! Good thing you guys are strong. That oaf was always bugging me. You you don't have arms. You actually don't. Sorry, I kind of let loose on you guys in frustration. No hard feelings. I'll show you hard feelings. Swear your loyalty to me, and maybe, just maybe, I'll forgive you. Otherwise, I'll throw you to my vicious bodyguard. <laughs> uh, I like the voice actor for this guy. Please, forgive me. I'll be a servant. I'll do anything. Hey, who are you calling your bodyguard? I mean, you actually are his bodyguard. That is a child. The only thing smaller than him is a gnome. Are you sure you don't want to be called a bodyguard? I know when I've met my match. Call on me anytime. I'll be there. Now, close your eyes, boss. boss. Now both you and the missus over there can summon me. Man, everyone just hates me. Excuse me? Since when were we an item? I like your style, gnome. <laughs> well, that's that. Be seeing ya. It always bothered me that his, on, uh... We gotta get to the map. Shut up. It always bothered me that his dialogue was very, very cut and dry. Like, just straight to the point, and then he never talks anymore. Really sucks, he's the only one that actually had personality. Maybe that one in the shade one, but... I never did like the shade one. Come on! Are you gonna... Oh, my head! Oh, that happens here? No. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't throw yourself down a flight of stairs, you idiot. I, I don't know how tall that is, because this... This doesn't really help me with the sense of depth, but that was pretty high up. You okay? No. You watched him fall down a flight of stairs. You didn't even try to stop it. You could have used your hair to cushion the fall. The fall. Uh, hang in there. God, why do you sound in pain? <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, you sound like you had like a stroke or something. Ah, sorry, I drifted off there. Ah. Wow. See, that's not a problem with the voice acting. That's that's just how the script was written. Give me a break. Then again, when it had to be translated in... I can't remember if it was 24 hours or a week's time, but... This game, uh, its dialogue has a bit of an issue because its translation was done in an incredibly short amount of time, and I really want to say it was done in a day. Hey, don't get ants in your pants. While I was asleep, my past came back to me. Yeah, you can see it was hastily written. I lived in the forest in the Upperland. I can't remember how I get up there. So it's decided. That's where we gotta go. I'll let you hang out with me until we get back to my home. You're welcome. Gee, thanks. Wow, I never actually paid attention to that. See, when you play the game normally, you just kind of go from place to place. You don't really make much note on what you're doing. But from what I can gather here, I'm actually just going to use the escape rope. Because I'm pretty sure enemies are still in this area. I still feel like this area was too small, though. Isn't there supposed to be a chest here? I'll just use the escape rope. Because if there is supposed to be a chest with an orb in it, then... That chest will actually appear somewhere else. I don't have to worry if Can I miss it. Can you hear me? Yes? Gemma has not returned from Pandora yet. Something must have happened. I sense evil in the Pandora ruins. Perhaps you can look into it and find out what's keeping Gemma. Luke is right. We need to get to the Pandora ruins on the double. Okie dokie. And I'll probably just withhold from saving. I could do it later. So... When you're playing the game normally, you don't really notice that things just sort of keep happening in, like, a sequence. Mainly because it's a game, sequence things happen. I've been waiting! Which weapon is- Oh, I've got a lot of money. But what I just noticed is that... Oh, there's no... Pop of Circus Dance? Okay. I might as well... No, because I'm never going to use it. I only use, like, a handful of weapons. 
but you don't really pay attention to the fact that there are actually three different story lines going at once. I've noticed that some people complain on the forums when it comes to reviewing that this game doesn't really have much of a story or much of character development, but I think that's directly ignoring the fact that there were three different storylines going on here. When it comes to the sprite, he just figured out that we're supposed to go to the Upperland, so that's one of the me next areas that you're supposed to go to. In the same light, the girl has uh, that dialogue character to save, who we were just told went to the Pandora Ruins. So right then and there, that's two different things that should be going on. And then the third one is... Oh, I ran out of stamina. And the third one is the fact that uh, Luca just told us that... Are you serious? I could have just gone left this entire time? Oh, fuck me. Just told us that Gemma was at Pandora Ruins too, and he has to come back. And Gemma's supposed to be like my mentor for the main character, so... Clearly we, we gotta do something about that. So it, it's weird that this game doesn't really have much of a singular storyline, but multiple people have things going on that unfortunately just happen to be useful and co-align with each other. I'm just gonna run. NPCs don't take damage unless the enemy's on screen at the same time. Not unconscious, bro. So, so it's actually really interesting that uh, I never picked up on that before. Because that's actually kind of something that I want to do in my game, where there are two different uh, storylines going on at once. Not realizing that this game did it before with three. Though well, technically it's really only two, since the main character doesn't really have much of personality or storyline going into this. Now, let's see. So to enter Pandora Ruins, I actually need to find a particular person, because this is also something you. Uh, leave me alone. Wait, really? Oh, it's not you? Where is she then? Because you can't get into Pandora Ruins without talking to somebody. I just don't know where she is. I'm actually, I'm not gonna get armor. I want this game to be a challenge. I, I'm, I'm probably not gonna keep updating my armor for a while. It's very annoying. I want to say it's a uh, tall-headed chick with green hair. I just can't remember where is she. I want to say she's wandering around in the town. Certainly not you. But that is the model that I'm looking for. Gotta remember this is a 1993? Yeah, 1993 game, so they only had so many sprites that they could develop. Oh. Really? I don't know, you were blocking Mayla? the exit. What's the matter? You're at... <sighs> she... she disappeared. The ruins are down there. Let's check them out. Yeah, I could have. Well, I, I guess I was wrong. I could have sworn in the original game you couldn't go down there without, uh... talking to the girl. I thought she was just randomly walking around. As you can see, we're slowly creeping on the... Cre blah, 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 creeping up on the part of this game where... I don't quite know what's happening. You staying? Help yourself to a bed. Hang on, that'll be 10 GP. You, you can't, you, you can't do that to me, dude. Maybe you need to stop focusing on your, your awesome dances and, I don't know, let your customers know the price? So let's see what they're gonna say this time. Seeing Alanae's true form Gave me a new respect for magic power. Why are you still talking about Elena? No kidding. She acted so young despite her real age. No, she acted like a normal person. Hey, bro? What? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's good directing. Just a single line, so much dissatisfaction. This Elena witch wasn't always so scary, right? I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. No, I heard she was a typical old lady before. Yeah, you heard it from the same dude that talked to all three of us. Then it was the magic that made her into a terrifying bad guy, right? No, I think it's the being an asshole part that turned her into a terrifying bad guy. Hear me out. What if someone who was mean from the start got their hands on that kind of magic? I guess they do even more harm out in the world. 
right? Then what would happen if Sis managed to get more magic powers? I was gonna say, what is she looking at over there? Is she a bobblehead and someone just keeps, like, plucking her head? Whoa, better not think about it. There's no way we'd manage to defeat something so sinister. Wow, you are just asking to be kicked in the balls, aren't you? What are you guys implying? N not nothing. Oh, there wasn't even a return comment? Okay. Okay, that's getting really weird. Usually... Well, I can't say usually. I would have expected that these little cutscenes would keep updating as you progress along the game, sort of keeping you one-to-one -one with how things are working out. And they're still talking about the witch that I beat three episodes ago. So that's really, really strange. What the hell is going on with that at the bottom? Why is it saying I played for 2,389 hours? What? What the hell? So, in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and go straight to the Pandora Ruins and figure out what is going on in there. So with that, I bid you all adieu. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, or... Yeah, tomorrow's episode.